Hi, my name's Jerry. I'm a twin troller boat owner, a lifelong fisherman, and I'm in a lake that I come fairly regularly at times anyway, especially when it's really windy. Today it's supposed to be 17 mile an hour winds. Uh, it doesn't seem like it's too bad here on this lake. It's a very small lake and it is very clear that's why i'm here now it's early springtime you would say that we probably should be in a good position for fish to be spawning the water temperature is 60.9 it's been cold it was 37 overnight the, or excuse me it was 32 two nights ago last night it was uh, in the upper 30s. I'm here for two reasons. One is to go fishing and the other one is to start to use my brand new Garmin Echo Map UHD 93 SV. I want to show you how I'm starting to use it. Some of the tricks that it will do and let's get started. What do I do first? Here's my fish finder. I don't know if you can see this but depends on what angle it is. It's full of fingerprints. This is a touch screen fish finder and you're touching it all the time really makes fingerprints on it. So I use these. Let me put it over here out of the sun, maybe you can see it better. They're Zeiss lens cleaning wipes. One thing they do not have in them is ammonia. The manual for this fish finder says, Garmin says, do not use a glass cleaner that has ammonia in it. These don't. They have more alcohol based. They're even good for cleaning lenses on expensive cameras. So that's what I'm gonna use. Let me get it out of the package. So I'm cleaning this. Trying to get all those fingerprints off just so that when we are using it and I'm trying to show you the display, you're not looking at it going, I can't see a thing. Well, I got this off. I'm gonna do my GoPro lenses. And we'll turn this fish finder on. Now it takes uh, probably 30 seconds or so to completely boot up, so let me get back with you. All right, once this boots up, it comes to the screen telling you basically don't rely on this uh, for every single thing because you could get hurt. Uh, it's their disclaimer. Here is the, the, the fish finder turned on, and this is a multi-screen. This is uh, side scan uh, with 56, uh, GT56, that's the transducer I have. This is the newest one that they have out. This is uh, down scan or clear uh, scan, clear view they call it. And down here on the bottom, this one is conventional chirp that you would normally see. This is the lake we're on. Let me make it a little bit bigger for you. You can actually see some numbers. Very round lake. It only shows out to like not, well, six feet. It only shows out to about six feet. Probably because nobody's ever tracked this lake. However, you can see here that the numbers are closer together. The lines are more detailed here. It's because I did this in the past. Quick contours. Start recording. Now I have to have a chip in here, which I do. I have a 32 meg chip and it will continue to record wherever I travel and when I when I push here to tell it to stop it will stop doing that and I can't use that word every time I do my GoPro thinks I'm telling it to stop doing that uh, and then I can't show it to you but once I push that I can then go to here and I can name it and I can delete it if I want but let's go back
see the difference in the uh, color here the green that's where this has been creating its own map and it will eventually update the map that existed in here if I have it do that and you can see the green box where the boat is watch when I move forward It's drawing more of it. And it puts that green circle around the uh, around the boat to show you where it is currently recording. All right, I circled the entire lake uh, in saving the map that I created. So you can see in the center, I didn't go out into the middle very much. But you can see all the rest of the lines are now drawn on one foot levels wherever I went where originally they were not that way. I think they were two foot levels. So now I have a little bit more detailed map than I had originally. And there it goes. And I also have shading on. So it creates color changes where this is like five and less and this is the next range. Uh, this is from like 10 to 14-ish. And you can change the colors of these things. But it lets you look at the lake and see where the different depths are based on coloring of that. That is the original lake, the way how it came on the map that came with the fish finder. And you? Quick draw, manage, lake confusion, done. That's what this lake now looks like after I used the Garmin to map the lake. And I've saved it on this chip under the name Lake Confusion. So anytime I want to, I can come back and put this back to the way how I see it now, as opposed to as opposed to having that. That's a drastic difference. That's one of the things that this fish finder can do. Now, I can't even release this information out to the public. And if somebody had done this already on this lake, I would have been able to pick up their map uh, soundings and put it on my fish finder but nobody did so I did well look at that I really didn't think I'd catch anything today and I Looks like I'm not. <clears throat> well, let's see. <laughs> what, six inches maybe? So today, 
tried to show you how to create a map of a lake or in this case since there was a map kind of lame one to create a map that was better than what came with the garmin originally so you can do that too on your small body of water especially if it doesn't have any kind of map already so today's lesson was create your own contour map for your favorite lake